Hello, this is LearnScience.com lesson number 26. 26. In this lesson, we're going to talk more about prepositions. In the last lesson, I gave you a list of prepositions. This lesson, we'll explain some of them in a little more detail. First of all, let's go through some of these again and uh, look at what the right sign is uh, for these. In, in, and out, outside of, those are pretty simple. Then in is into, inside, while, during, or as. I mentioned in the last, in the last lesson that while, during, and as, these are words that are, that are that talk about during this event, something else happened. So there may be other words beside those two, those three that could use this sign. Uh, so try to think about what are, what are the words meaning and then put the right sign to it. So while, during, or as. Uh, during the game last week, someone got hurt. So during. And this is while something else is taking place. And then we did since. Since, you can also use this to mean up to now, from in the past to now. Sometimes you'll see it signed this way, where they'll do since and then come down to the, to the Y signs, now or uh, now. You can do it either way. And this is up to now, from the past to today, right now since or up to now of uh, on over above below beneath we did those words with with this is the idea of two items now it can be two people or whatever and it's not just limited to two it could be 15 items so with and the idea is that it's a collection of things not just one thing it'll be two things together or my car is with the mechanic, or you can do mechanic. So it's not two things that are the same necessarily, it's just items that are together, with or together. And then also this can be used to mean a boyfriend and girlfriend going out together. You can do it back and forth like this. They're always with each other, they're always together with together without through now through it has the idea of of something is there and you're going to go through it it can be metaphorical uh, i'm going through a hard time right now or it can be physical i'm going to go through the door uh, those both of those are used uh, it with sign language typically uh, you're thinking of things that are real, physical things, but yet you can also convey things that are not uh, real. They're, they're um, metaphorical or they're a simile. They're showing something that's not really real, like going through a hard time or this is uh, through this last week has been a great time for me. So you can use that through for those. Two, I mentioned in the last lesson that this is movement from one place to another place. You don't use this for to eat or to comb my hair. I guess I don't do that anyway. Uh, but you don't, you don't use this to with your infinitive. And the infinitive is when you say a verb like to whatever the verb is, to drive. You don't use this this sign too for that. You just don't use it at all. There's not there's not a sign that you need to use for that construction. I want to go, so I can say I want to go, and then I can say to the store. I want to drive to my friend's house. So to drive doesn't use it but going from here to there does. From, from, for, and then I also talked about the word of, those three words together. Many times the word of means from, or it means for, or it can mean to represent. 
The word of has many different me, uh, meanings. So if you can, if you think of this is the book of John, we don't say that so much in English, but that construction book of somebody, then that's not from, it's not for, it is belongs to, and this is the sign to belong to. You take two things, you connect them together, and you can say it belongs to John. Okay, so the book of John. It belongs to John, John's book. Uh, you can say, I am of the state of Texas. From. Again, we don't use that construction a whole lot, but that that comes up. That's kind of an odd example. But I am from, I am of this world. From this world. Uh, so of can mean from. The Statue of Liberty. What does of mean there? You can say represents or the statue that shows liberty. So the word of, along with several other words, but that's one that's that's got an easy example for us here in the prepositions. The word of has many different meanings, and therefore you need to sign it based on the meaning, not just of. Of you can you can say of, but the meaning will be clearer if you actually sign the sign that corresponds to that meaning. So try to think about that every time you hear the word of. What does it mean? And then fit the sign for it. And don't just do that for the word of. That's every word. Every word you hear, because sign language is not the same as English. It's, it's a different language. And many times my spoken word corresponds to a sign that means that word or what we would put together as a tag that says, okay, this sign is that. But you need to think more, not just what the words say, but what do they mean. And try to figure out every time you, you're listening to a word and you're interpreting, or if you're just talking to your friends, you need to listen and think, okay, what, what does this word mean? What is the base meaning for this word? And then sign that meaning. So that's, that's your word of. It can mean from, belongs to, represents, uh, for. There's, there's many, many things that the word of can, can mean there. And then we talked about around and about. Now this is also like you do it in English. You can talk about something around physically, a campfire. So you can say around this way. But it's also used to talk about something to talk around a subject or talk about this subject. Uh, so you can use around and about in that way. And then the words up and down we covered in the last lesson. So this lesson isn't so much new material on new signs and everything, but it gives a little bit more explanation of how to use those signs. Every sign, and, and prepositions are a good example of this, every sign you need to think, what does the word mean? What does the spoken word mean that I'm trying to convey and then convey that? Now, you also go the other direction. When a person is signing, they might sign something and you say, wow, I don't, I don't really know what the right English word for that is. We'll try to figure out what it means. What does the sign mean? And then put the English word to it if necessary. Now, right now, at your stage, you're just trying to communicate and learn what people are saying, carry on conversations, but as time goes on and you get in a position where you're having to voice for what your deaf friend is saying, then you'll want to be able to pull out what is the meaning of those signs and then put the English words to it because the English words may not correspond exactly with that particular sign, but it corresponds with the meaning of the sign. All right, so we call this, my, my friends and I, when we're talking about this, we say think meaning. What does it mean? This is the sign for mean, by the way, not, not mean as in angry, but mean as in this word means that. You take your, your V or your two and you poke it into your palm and then you give it a twist. You come off, twist it, and poke it again. Mean. So think meaning. What does the word mean? And then sign that. This is LearnSigns.com Lesson 26. So you can go to LearnSigns.com slash 
26 and get to this lesson. I appreciate you watching. I know we had a couple of weeks there where there weren't any videos. I was traveling. I'm going to be doing some more traveling in the near future. Uh, the format of the videos will probably change because of that. I won't be at home for a few months. And so if you, if you see some changes there, then bear with me. You probably like the changes. I don't know. Uh, but, uh, the, Lessons will continue as much as I can over the transition time here and uh, get back into a, a regular schedule as quickly as I can. Thank you for watching.